<clears throat> hey folks, welcome to another uh, YK Apps uh, tutorial. Uh, as usual, you can find uh, the article, the source codes, uh, vi in this video in, uh, in my site, ykapps.com. Uh, let's review what we'll uh, create today. Uh, uh, the next uh, few series of my article will uh, will discuss about design patterns. Specifically, today we're going to talk about Android design pattern, uh, a singleton uh, design pattern in Java. And uh, this is the application I'm going to create uh, to demonstrate the usage of a singleton design pattern in Android pro programming. So I created a basic app. You got a username. Uh, I already uh, registered. Uh, uh, username in my ser server. Uh, username is YK Apps, and the password is ykapps. dot com. And when uh, we press the login button, a uh, post requ a request to our server is made. Uh, with uh, the parameters we just passed and the server uh, gets the request and uh, it sends a JSON string, JSON string which we intercept and create uh, an object and the object we pass and we print here in the next string, uh, screen the user details uh, of the object we received from the server. So basically uh, we're going to create a uh, uh, a user object, a user singleton. We're gonna uh, initiate it from the server JSON response, and I'm gonna show you how this user uh, via uh, singleton design pattern uh, can be sort of a global variable, meaning you can pass this user from different activities and actually use it like a global variable. Uh, okay, so let's uh, start and uh, and uh, review uh, the code of this uh, application. Okay, uh, so uh, let me view uh, our project and uh, the code in our project. Uh, basically, we have uh, uh, two uh, activities. You see in the layouts, we have a main activity and the user details activity. I'm not going to cover the GUI section. Uh, you can just download the code and uh, review the files. And in the project, we have uh, two packages. One is for the model. And one is for the view controllers that contain the logic behind the R activities. So in the model, we have uh, the user object. Now let's review the user object. The user object uh, has four fields. He has an ID, a salt, a username, and a password. And basically, a uh, user object is a singleton object. So uh, the thing about singleton uh, that they have a private constructor constructor meaning uh, you cannot call the constructor from uh, when you use your class because constructor is private what is public is the uh, get instance class a static method a static public method which returns a user object uh, this method basically checks if uh, we have the object initialized we have uh, a static uh, class member uh, variable which we initiate in the now and basically uh, we check if this uh, class is initiated before by checking if it's equal to now if it's equal to now then we have to create a new uh, user object uh, so we create a user object uh, if it's null and if it's not now we return the object meaning this object is created only once and the rest is getter setters for this object uh, the second model uh, we have is uh, the second uh, sorry class in our model is a general functions model which I called YK functions uh, which holds a static function uh, uh, to post uh, to create a post request to a server it receives uh, uh, params as a list of name value of params to pass to the server and the URL uh, of the server to create a request and that's basically creating a, a, a HTTP POST uh, request and uh, returns a string uh, we got from the server so in our instance we were passing in the params uh, user, username and a password 
and we're passing it uh, to our uh, service, our login service and uh, we get a JSON string which uh, describes a user object so that's pretty much it for the model now let's review uh, our uh, view controllers and our uh, main uh, view controller is the main activity uh, which uh, the interesting st thing here is the log is the event for the uh, login button and let's review uh, this event it's called send login. Basically, what it does, it uh, gets the username and the password uh, that we entered in the fields, and uh, it creates. Uh, it pops up a progress dialog, and it's, uh, it creates an uh, a sync task uh, to make the actual post. A, a sync task is basically like a, a thread. Uh, short thread that has a specific uh, target in this in our case it creates a post request to a server so basically our, uh, we create in the same file we create in a sync uh, a class that extends a sync task and this class in the background uh, will call a post function and get the JSON string turn the JSON string into an object and initiate our user object. This is our singleton. This is the important uh, part of this tutorial and it will initiate our singleton and after it finishes initiating the singleton it will launch uh, the new the user detail activity. Okay let's review the user detail activity. The user detail activity uh, will initiate all the fields in the onCreate uh, in the onCreate uh, method and basically how you're probably asking how we get the correct values the correct values because singleton is only one instance the values we passed in the last activity are actually saved it's like global so you can just go on a, go on ahead call the get instance you get the user object and you could just pull from there uh, the values we saved in the last activity so we pull the, the values and initiate all our text views and this is pretty much the, uh, uh, the code uh, uh, next we're going to review a bit of a, a singleton uh, theory okay I want uh, to review a bit about the theory behind singleton pattern and when exactly uh, is it best to use uh, the singleton pattern? Uh, like I heard a lot in the university life uh, lecture says that uh, global variables are a bad habit. Global variables should be avoidable. Uh, when you dig dig deeper, uh, you find uh, that uh, indeed, like singleton and uh, like a global uh, uh, class, like singleton pattern. Uh, does actually make your code uh, harder to test. It creates like dependencies between your singleton class and uh, other classes in your uh, application, thus creating a harder to test code. Uh, but uh, all the lectures and stuff they say in the university uh, usually. Uh, those people doesn't have, don't have a lot of experience writing code. So, in my experience, in my experience, sometimes it's easier and it's best to use a singleton. And of course, if you look at your program and every class is a singleton, then something is bad with your design. The design. Uh, uh, you shouldn't use a lot of singleton and your application shouldn't be filled with a lot of singleton but uh, sometimes uh, it makes your life a lot easier to create here and there a bit of singleton services and you can see them a lot also in the Android uh, programming libraries uh, in uh, also in the iPhone programming long, uh, uh, libraries uh, singleton is used a lot uh, so every time you hear that uh, harder to test code should it should be something on your mind 
and you should always ask yourself when using Singleton am I creating something that provides services to all the classes in my application am I provide something that should be global uh, if you uh, you're not sure of the answer and you find out that that this class actually can be managed from a single place in your code then singleton is not the way to go but uh, sometimes singleton global data uh, makes your life a lot easier so uh, trust uh, your experience and don't necessarily trust what you learn and what dictated by your university or lectures uh, that's it uh, with uh, this tutorial uh, again, you have the full article, full source code, uh, uh, f uh, the movie in, uh, the in my site, ykapps.com. Be glad to hear your comments and uh, see you soon.